how is it important to take down customer clients details for them for when they if they need to return back to you um, it's very important to take first of all you want to know who you're speaking to so and you often get given a script by if you work in the content center of what to say um, some companies no but it all depends on whether you have customers or clients uh, clients are those who are interested in investing in the business and customers are those that spent money on your product and services and they want further information about those so what so how important is it to take down the customer details very um, that's why contact centers have a database now if it's just a quick call like I say and they just want an answer sometimes they just want to uh, ask the information for you to give it but also still take down their name and take down the number um, so you've got that on record in terms of address it all depends on what type of business it is and it all depends on what the call uh, if it for example when I worked for a when I was representing a uh, manufacturer of products a lot of the time it would be customers who um, may have uh, for example um, have, have had a TV for say 30 years and now it's gone wrong and it needs to be put in for repair and that is when you need to check their name, their number, their address and often they have to give it a time, uh, also give them a time when they will be in so the TV can be collected, taken to the the um, the surface the the, sur the surface uh, provider so those who are going to fix it or try and fix it so that's really important if it's just a now when uh, I would take calls um, you did have a certain amount of time for each call so if it's something about they're missing a, a product from their shaver uh, sometimes we could actually order them out and have those in the office to send to the customer if the item is um, you know not included or they can go to like a we used to have a company called Olympia uh, where they would uh, send out parts if it were missing from their shaper um, so that in respect you do need to take their name again their number um, their address and you know and what type of what type of TV it is because they we would often have to take the serial number of the TV uh, when it was because that, that represents when it was made and so it is important if you're you know, repa replacing something sending something out to the customer even if it's a letter or it is for example their TV needs to be sent for repair that is when you need to take all the customer details so and put it in the database and then give them then what you would do is give them a reference number which was which was exclusive to that customer so when they rang back all they would have to do is give that reference number and then we can go straight in the database to find who they are and sometimes if it's something that needs to be escalated we've got that information on their account to give back to the customer so it is very important that you take details down and if you don't need to address at least you get the customer's name telephone number and give them your name as well um, who who they're spoken to because then they can say if they want to come back to me or not they can because they've got my name um, if there's two carriers in the, in the call center then then give also give your surname because they don't, they can't see you on the telephone they don't know that there's only one carry in the office so if they ask for your surname do give it the customers get very hecked up when you can't give when you don't give the information and we were told that we didn't have to give surnames but it is important because if there's two Melanie's two carries uh, you know uh, to the Danielle's for example they need to know which one they spoke to so that's why you need to give them your surname so they've got information who they spoke to and you knew what you would do is put notes in their account of why they rang up for what what issue they had how you help them if it needs to be put up repair you put it on the notes so if another agent picks up the call instead of you they know to take that reference number for the customer 
and read the notes in their account so that is very important that you and that's where um, I spoke in my last video about customer relations and how important it is it's good to have you, you do have to establish a good relationship with your customers so they know that if they do need to come back they know that they're going to be helped and that's where and sometimes they would actually voluntarily give you their details and that's fine if they volunteer give you their name address telephone number take it down because the more information you take from that customer the more if they do ring up again they again they don't have to be on the phone for too long you just refer to those notes and it is done within five five ten minutes so and you do get monitored on how long your calls take um, and it all depends on the situation but you no one wants to be talking to a customer for an hour all they want is the, all they want to do most of the time is to ask you a question and get the answer so give that to them if they refuse to give you the, their name and number again be respectful and say that's fine I won't take details but it's so we can if you do call back we can refer to it but if you don't want to that's absolutely fine um, would you still like me to give you a reference number and just put write your name in the account and if they say that's fine then then do that and just put in the notes that they do want to give them their number but they've given their name um, if they refuse to give both then that's fine don't get into an argument over it expect respect the, that customer decision and move on to the next one and just give them the same information and so if they come back and said well no actually i didn't want to give them details then that's fine um because then the next agent will they'll be able to still see that uh, you've helped them uh, by take you help them because that's how they monitor calls to see that you still took that call you still give that information but the customer has said no they don't want to give any details and that is fine if they don't want to don't force it upon them because that can actually cause anger in the customer um so um, so that's why it is important to take their customer details and also, like I say, greet them. So I've got. So that's why it's very important. So, you know, remember the three elements um, that I spoke to in a previous video is that you greet the customer, get the details of the issue, and then, then end on a high note by saying thank you for your call and don't fear coming back if you need any further advice done and so yes um, so I hope this, that this video has helped you and I hope to do more um, but I really wanted to do this video to talk to further um, my uh, content about you know, working in, working with customers um, even blog writing you know if there's something that they want to know in terms of blogs then I will give that information um, with blog writing is different though because it's personal it's a personal uh, sort, of, sort of sharing experience with what I've learned but you still have to respect your readers when writing a blog post but if you start having that if I start um, selling products then it's very important for me to then still get in touch with my readers and give them the, 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 the product that they want um, and so you know you always have to be remember that you, that you know customers are calling because they want your help and they want a resolution they don't want the door to be shut in their face so you know if they if they are willing to give you their details and take it if they don't want to give them address and say well i don't really want to give that all i want to know is this and that and ever then that's fine so that's fine i just name this your name and number will do just in case you get cut off i can ring you back or you know we've got some details if you do want to Contact us, contact us again. We've got you on a database, and you all you have to do is give your reference number, and then you'll be helped even quicker next time. So, you know, just explain that. But if they still say no, I don't want to give that information, then don't push it. So, um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the videos, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.